So if comics need audiences and they need to market what they've got, why are the websites so bad, both on the professional side and in the fan news site? Let's take a look at some sites and see what we can find. Hey everybody, it's me, Perch. And um, what we're doing here is I just want to give you an example of uh, websites. And why we're talking about this is comic news websites. And this is an area that drives me absolutely crazy because with all the need for community and, and bringing people together and news and getting the word out there to build this comic audience, we've got to look at kind of how they're being marketed and displayed. So right now we've got Apple on the screen. I'm just starting here because this is obviously a nice tech company. We're looking at this from an Apple phone. And I just want to point out, you know, full Wi-Fi, life's good, battery solid, little mark there is my little screen recordings. We're recording away. And I'm just scrolling down, all's well. Of course, this is a nice tech company, so their website's going to be good. And now for comparison, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, check out uh, Google. Here we go with Google. And Google loads up nice and fast. You saw we got a little banner at the bottom. It's gone now for an app. Great. But now let's look at other news sites. We'll do this kind of quickly. So we're just going to go to CNN. And here's CNN. Ah, this is a bad story. Um, it's always a, a tragedy. It drives me crazy when I see stuff like that. But this is a news site. It's CNN. Uh, we've got a bunch of news. Blah, blah, blah. Down it goes. Pretty straightforward in terms of use. Let's see. Um, Okay, let's see. Alligators caught swimming fences in Florida. Uh, good old Florida. This is a mobile-friendly website. You can see from the M dash, you know. But here we go. We got a lot of articles and sponsored ads. Got a big, nice white screen. That's always good. Oh, here we go. It's coming. One vegetable that literally destroys you from the inside. Nice. And now I want to show you Fox News. Here's Fox News, and uh, they're just never going to give up with the to leave Omar stuff. Um. Anyway, so same thing, very similar to CNN. This is how news works. And by the way, if your um, town's anti-sex toilets will spray users with water, okay. That's Welsh. Of course, it's not the U.S. That's too bad. All right, so now we're seeing some ads, by the way. Here's ad, ad, text, 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 ad again. Always drives me crazy when you have ads. By the way, some websites, um, I've commented on this in the past, will say, well, we have no control over the ads. You have total control over the ads. That is BS. If a if you're ever looking at a, a, a comic news site or any news site, and they're like, well, we don't control the ads. They absolutely control the content of the ads. They can certainly preference that. But I want to draw your attention to this read more. So if you read more, more stuff's going down. This is so the whole page doesn't get loaded. It's also so bottom ads shove up more to the page. Now we're getting some, uh, some comments here. Okay, fine. Now one last one. We're going to go to old BuzzFeed. Uh, BuzzFeed is is tracking in as pretty close to what comic news sites have become. So here's BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed and we're going down. And this is just a blitz of, of nonsensical garbage uh, <laughs> of articles, ads, articles, articles that are ads. Uh, here we are. And here we are. 22 things men do that aren't sexual but are actually hot AF. Okay. When he smells good and sl oh, when he slings a towel over his shoulder. Hey, men. Here's what you've been looking for. You need to you need to just look at this guy right here. Dear God, let me get the defibrillator. Men with towels over their shoulder. That's it. Right there. Barbecue. When his eyebrow. What? With when he has big veiny arms. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. When you catch him reading. <laughs> wow. So okay. You know, uh, we've heard all about this, the, the incel, uh, you know, poor guys who can't get women. It's easy. Just read, towel over the shoulder. When he's tall AF, okay, can't do much about that. Short and stacked. Ooh, when his t-shirt rides up. <laughs> Men, don't, don't, t this is terrible advice. Don't, like, don't, don't no. <laughs> Why are they obsessed with these, <laughs> these ads? Check out his crotch. All right. Um, since he, okay. Sorry, I got distracted. But but now now I, I, so that's a, a bit of a lead in now to comic news sites. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Newsarama, 
news or uh, there we did newsarama oh, good lord I, I got wikipedia here thanks uh news news rama.com there we go um all right so this is probably in my mind the best of the big guys in terms of not blitzing you with ads although already we've got an ad at the bottom expensive flooring there we go yes i live in the seattle area sci-fi aborts plans for a lobo show oh no krypton canceled the sci-fi sci is just delivering all the bad news all of a sudden but basically they've got this slider at the top um it's on mobile it's tracked Anyway, really quickly, I want to point out, I'm showing this on a mobile phone, and some people have said, hey, you know, uh, most people read their news on a PC. That's not true. Mobile is where the traffic is going. It's where people are consuming their news quickly. So you can't say, hey, I know my site looks garbage on a mobile phone. No problem. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, you're, that, is a, that is a key audience here. So anyway, they've got this slider. They've got articles here. If you click on an article... We're going in, we get, you know, headline, we get some stuff loading in, we get, you know, some, we get a sponsored ad for, what is this, bread? Oh, it's a mattress. Oh, that's, is it? I don't know. She's dancing. Anyway, th this is probably, this, as you already you can tell, this is worse than the other news sites we're going with because we got these ads coming right in the middle and we've got just, just junk throughout. Here's fight razor burn. I don't know what to say about my, my search history here. Razor burn beds. That's what I'm into, shaving and sleeping. Um, but if you click on these, all right, that's pretty good. We got some some stuff here. It's not scrollable. Oh, it's got some, whoa, look at the content in the background. That's fun. But this is probably as good as it gets. So now if we go over to comicbook.com. Oh, there's comicbook.com. Similar to Newsarama, although things are starting to break down. You've noticed we've got kind of a BuzzFeed approach. We've got some articles and we've got some ads and we've got some trending and we've got kind of everything going in. Got an ad at the top. Don't see an easy, I love how they make the X super tiny. So it gets to be like a little puzzle game. Like, Can you click the X? Got it. Oh, but I'm still going to see it. Wah, wah. Um, here's how, you know, some wrestling stuff. Wonder Woman kills. Spoiler. Let's see what we got. So we got an article. We've got the ad is back. That's nice. Just see if I can get rid of it. Uh, yay. And um, get into this bed. I, I have not been searching for a bed, so I have absolutely no idea why uh, the phone thinks I need to sleep more, other than maybe I'm on the phone at like 3 in the morning. That's that's probably it. Got some uh, some stuff here. Okay. More this bed. This bed is plaguing me. Three ads for the bed. Um, DC fans are not happy with Tim Drake's new costume. No shit. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Um, and here's another ad. Now, if I head over to CBR.com, all right. Now, at first, CBR is pretty good on a mobile phone. I mean, the stuff is clean, so I got to get some credit here. Still, we got the breakdown of stuff. But notice, um, you know, I'm not blitzed with an ad right away. That's good. By the way, I don't have anything special running. It's just running on Safari on the phone. Nothing special or weird going on. I have the load more. Um, let's see what's up with old <laughs> the pride. Let's do Gwynpool. Um, all right. You know, this is not bad. There's an ad that's kind of, oh, there it is. It needed to be loading in the background. Some advertising. But the page is reading okay. Again, we got an ad. Will this be for a bed? It's just going to be for nothing. Okay. Gray screen. They want me to buy a new RAV4. Oh, no thanks. Apply her credits. You can buy that RAV4. And here, clearly, <laughs> here it's now it's knowing that I go to, I'm in Seattle. I head over to Asia. All right. And they really, oh, now it's an HRV. Using an Arch Rentals. Renton. I don't know what I'm be doing down there. Anyway, this is the site. CBR is not terrible. Now, on the PC, it's much worse. Uh, absolutely, it's much worse. But uh, this is not bad. Um, the content is at least there. It's kind of, you know, more or less good. Let's head over to our favorite, Bleeding Cool. <laughs> like I put bleeding in the search entry of bleeding after sex. It comes up nice. <laughs> Uh, autofill. Okay. So <laughs> right away, I just, I want to put the visual here. Okay. We got header tiny. We got this grading service, which is kind of a sponsored thing. We got an ad, submit search, comics, TV, full mm, games. Nice. Another ad, another ad. Let's see if we can play the game of getting rid of the ads. Here we go. Uh, report ad. No, I'm not going to do that, but we'll move over. Hey, there's another ad sports. 
more more ads. Let's do some articles. Ad. Love Beauty and Planet. Ad. At this this becomes if you're going to, <laughs> Jesus. If you're going through uh, Bleeding Cool in particular and trying to read anything, it is it is a, a lesson in endurance. Let's just see if we can get actual comic news somewhere in here. Is there any comic news? There's there's something announced. Desperados. Oh, here we got some ad, ad, ads. Collection. Jesus, what a mess this is. I, I mean, this is why, though, um, this is why comic news struggles because the experience of actually just reading, getting information is, is mind boggling. Here's old rich, zero comments, add, add, read more. Here's a poster. Hey, Ned Lord of the pit. Okay. We've got some content. So this is good. More exclusive videos. We've almost got a full article. Remax, gigantic, uh, Twitter and Facebook and, and a little, whatever that that is icon some other stuff let's beat prostate cancer whoa seniors in Renton I don't live in Renton stop sending me that way and also seniors jerks come on this is not terrible um if you're trying to get to a comic story on bleeding cool comics and we got some stuff here and you're just looking like a preview like here's the ad 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 um this is where life goes screwy for you, okay? We've got Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, where'd it go? It's up, it's up here, Mr. Mr. Mercedes, report. Mm. Oh, we accidentally got to the image. I, I just clicked a bit. That screen moving around. No, back. This is, this is the problem. Okay, we got some comment. Let's see. Can I get in here? Here's a picture of Rocket getting tortured. Okay, everybody loves that. Stephen King, thanks. More videos. Click, click, down. This is the problem of news sites is it's just agonizingly bad to read content. And and by the way, ah, let's head over to marvel.com. And we've got, okay, Marvel, their main website. Again, it's okay, but but stuff. The problem is when you're on mobile and stuff's loading in, and then you've got your animations flipping around before stuff's loaded in, and you don't have a really easy way uh, to get. Uh, see, this is Marvel, and you've got all right, nice ads for Marvel, great, but it's this is not a great way just to put your stuff together. And and again, I showed you Apple, uh, CNN, Fox News for a reason. It's not to you know get you hyped into one political ideology or not. By the way, just just it's just to show you these are how legitimate companies. Well, you can decide if they're legitimate or not based on whether you like CNN or or Fox. But these are how companies are trying to make money and trying to push something, actually advertise their products. And if you look at if you look at this stuff, it's it's not. I mean, it's it's painful. Whether it's a a fan based news site like a Bleeding Cool uh, CBR actually looked pretty good. Or it's the actual companies themselves. You know, Marvel's doing a better job because they don't have to rely on heavy ads everywhere. But it's still, this is just, it's just not pleasant. And if I head over to Disney.com, you'll notice their parent has their stuff, you know, in a little bit better of a shape. Obviously, they've got their, their primary stuff they're hyping. They're putting this together. But they're on point. Go to Disney World. What are we going to get? Okay, they're hyping Star Wars. Purchase tickets. Here's how long, 10 days before it opens in Florida. It's great. Here are the rooms. Here's the dad with his kid. And I always like, by the way, you want to see something wacky in, uh, in Disney photos? Check out the photos when they're advertising for the parks. And they all look really fun. And then you notice something. There's no other people. When are these people in the park? Look around. There's no, there's this guy's crotch again. He's at, we're not advertising for demo, denim. But look. There's no other people. And and that's the crazy part about how Disney takes their photos is look at this. Ooh, Star Wars, no people. This is never how you're going to see the park. You're eating. Nobody's around. Um, I, I always find that hilarious with Disney. They take these, these nice photos of people hanging out in the park where there's nobody else there. But anyway, the point is, um, you know, 
CCPowerbooks.com. Um, you look at these sites and you look at how they're promoting stuff, and it's just ad filled. I mean, uh, to to the credit of Bleeding Cool during this this video, um, that was probably the best experience I've had with them on the phone. CBR is usually much worse, and when I say worse, I mean ads taking over the page, making it impossible to read. The phone eventually shuts down. I mean, you can't tell this, but when I was on that site, the back of my phone heated up to the point where it's like you could roast an egg on the back of it because it's just, it doesn't know what to do. Eventually, if you stay on there long enough, a little message will come up saying, this browser is using excessive memory. Do you want to you know, save your phone and kill this thing? That's, I, I show you this from the standpoint of these sites that are promoting and putting their stuff together have to do a better job of, of, of getting the word out there and they can't do it this way. This is just, it's, it's painful. So anyway, I hope that was interesting. Um, th hey, thanks for listening. You got to you know, scroll around with me on my phone watching, I guess. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's an observation. Okay. I'm not saying anything should, you know, nobody should get uh, fired or removed or anything else, or maybe I'm saying that, but, but these are the little things to kind of examine, look at, peel back and, and, and try and figure out how, we do a better job, whether it's it's news sites or whether it's it's comic sites or it's the publisher themselves. There's better ways to do this, um, so that you know we can we can properly hype things and get get the messages out. And having stuff jump around, or you know look screwy. I mean, here's a here's an image that's not formatted for the phone, so half the image it's dark de met. You know, this kind of stuff is just. You know who's working on this stuff? Who who is putting this stuff together? Where you know where you're getting stuff like this? And this is from the major company, let alone the uh, get the new sites. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, do you have any comments? What do you think? What are sites that really you love or you hate? Would love to see your comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. Tell a friend. I'm at Comic Perch on Twitter, and thanks for watching.